don't think a lot of cyclists do both, but I love road racing and I like track cycling, so I'm a bit greedy maybe. The road keeps me fit, you know, it's endurance, real endurance keeps you thin. And then I'm more of a, a bigger type rider, so I'm suited to the track, and then that's that's what I love doing it because I'm, I'm not bad at it. Track cycling in particular for me, the velodrome, I just love it. I love walking into it when it's empty, the kind of anticipation, expectation. I love the buzz then, the racing, you know, the, the thrill. It's almost the danger of other riders beside you, the speed, you know, not knowing who's going to make the move or when are you going to make your move or uh, the speed of it, I guess. Going into the worlds, you just don't know who comes out of the woodwork, you know, and uh, I was hoping podium medal is what I want in the pursuit and I got that. So that was like whew, awesome feeling, you know. I think I set an Irish record and I got a silver medal in the pursuit and then uh, pressure off, I suppose. Uh, half an hour later, I had a scratch race, my second race. Shook off the sweat and got on the track and uh, I just had the form of my life and I won the scratch race. In 2012 at the World Championships in Melbourne, I won a bronze medal in the women's points race. And that was amazing. That was really special for me, you know, um, and for Irish cycling. We have two outdoor velodromes in Ireland. You know, we have the one here on Sundrive Road and there's one in Orangefield up the north. Um, and that's great to have them, but we need an indoor. I train in Mallorca a lot because that's the whole road track cycling thing. I can go out there and enjoy a bit of the sun, get fit and then get on the velodrome and juggle both. So Mallorca Spain's where I've been the last four or five years. It's maybe a cliche or whatever, but the funding makes that Cycling Ireland be able to have a program, makes me be able to train. And I wouldn't be standing here without it. Once you get the funding, then it's, it's a huge help because for me, when I got the funding, I was able to make the decision to go on a career break from work and that's huge. That was the difference. That is what put me in the position to win the medal, you know. Riding around Sundrive Velodrome as a world champion stripes, it's uh, it's an awesome feeling. It's kind of something I didn't see coming. You know, you kind of maybe dream about it and everything's going to happen. There's other guys like Dan Martin and Ro Nicholas Roach on the road and it's our cyclists just maybe got a bit of momentum and the ball's rolling, you know, so hopefully that keeps going.